to the minigun underneath this thing, firing away. It's also got the 50 cal on the back that's firing at the unit over on the left there, so doing a great job helping us clean that out. Hello guys and welcome to a new Broken Arrow video today by me Vulcan. In this one I'm going to be playing my US Tactical Outplay battle group which is basically a battle group that's very similar to the Russian heli drop battle group that I did previously. My poor aircraft is so dead right now on its own but we're going to try and take down this IL-76. We'll do our best. Oh, almost. We didn't get any gun run on it, otherwise it would be dead. Oh, look at my Hornet go. Get it. Please. I think we've uh, only got a couple of AMRAMs left and we're way too close. If we can twist our way around and take it down. Okay, it's gone. Good stuff. Good job, F-18. How did the F-18 survive there? That was insane. It's probably not going to anymore now that I just said that because the SU-34 is right on its tail. But he does have his afterburner on. He might just make it out in time. Yep, he's pulling away from the SU-34 and we survive. Okay, cool. Well, time to actually bring in some troops. I was <laughs> busy microing that for so long. But that does mean that we have quite a lot of points to spend. So we can, of course, fill up an Osprey and bring it in. I'm going to bring in all of my mech rifles. Uh, scout snipers, uh, maybe a small there as well, just to fill up all of these high rises in the center of the map to get good presence here early on. But as I was saying, my battle group is based on heli dropping. So we have two Ospreys, we've got two Super Stallions. Super Stallions, they can actually bring in some decent vehicles. You can see I've got all of the LAVs. So the LAV ATM, the LAV AD, the LAV Mortar, there's an PVADs. And I can also bring in an LAVL if I want something that can ferry supply for me on the ground. So lots of options. Uh, let's just make sure that gets unloaded because we are going to be contested in here any second. I need it to land. Quickly. Quickly. Please. Oh, just in time. Whew. Okay. Well, that was... Close. Let's just make sure we get out of dodge with the tow teams. I can bring in the Osprey over actually to put the minigun on target. That will actually help deal with a lot of this infantry. Now we are lacking significant infantry at the moment, so I am going to bring in a couple of Marine Raiders in the Super Stallion. That's the other nice thing about having the Super Stallion is it does allow you to bring in two squads of marine raiders instead of just one that can come in the osprey do the minigun underneath this thing firing away it's also got the 50 cal on the back that's firing at the unit over on the left there so doing a great job helping us clean that out Let's go ahead and now move forwards. Get our units into better positions here. Okay, we've gone ahead and captured that. Let's let the Osprey lead now. I can head back. It's provided good support. And we'll go ahead and land the Super Stallion further up as well. Let's bring in some more stuff with the Super Stallion. I can actually bring in a high mass with it, but that's not the best idea. We'll bring in a lav. We'll bring in some force recon. Maybe some supply. Oh, that SU-57 there manages to get an infrared onto the Super Stallion. There we go. They are able to move in there, and we'll just have them kind of sit in the back side here. So we'll put one on one side, one on the other. Meanwhile, the rest can start to continue to move forwards and get better positions from up on this bridge. I might actually move the small squad forwards, have the tow 2 team sit in this sort of industrial building overlooking this area. 
IL-76 is on its way. We do have my LAV on the way, but it looks like he dropped short. So the IL-76 there dropping a couple of spruts, which is cool. Of armoured vehicles dropping into support. Mototus will actually make sure work off spruts, so I'm not too concerned about that. make sure my recon's further forwards. I'm going to get some recon onto the edge of this ridge. I should have some sniper scouts here. There we go. Perfect. They can move forwards as well. We'll let the super stallion leave. But now that we've airdropped our way in, I can continue to do so. I was hoping that I might have a chance to kind of flank around the edge, but it looks like in this particular match I might be forced to play head-on against the opponents in the centre here. So that's fine by me. I'll make sure to start bringing up some tanks that I can make good use of. We can also potentially bring in some HIMARS that will help us out. From here, I'm not sure this has line of sight. We're going to move these out and up. I've got to try and get shots onto these spruts from there. And my other option is, of course, high Mars. High Mars would be actually really effective here if I can get good recon information. And my recon's okay. It's just not really in the right position just yet. Grenade launcher from the Marine Raiders doing a great job. There we go, the TOW-2 is making short work of the Spruts, as I mentioned. The reason that TOW-2s do well against Spruts is because of the um, lack of active protection on those Spruts. Active protection is super strong in this game. Now, a couple things that I did want to mention uh, in today's video is Kind of tutorial things so the first was people keep asking me like how to do transports or like, how to bring in multiple units in one transport well the best way to do it unfortunately you can't do it by clicking on the transport tab at the moment and then selecting stuff you used to be able to do that i think it'll be added again later on but you can do it in the heli tab still so you can select a helicopter and then you can select all different types of units you want to bring in that helicopter which is really really nice um, and really allows you to bring in lots of different units all at once and uh, kind of get some really cool heli drops in. So that's how you do it. You just like click on your spray here. Um, I want to say bring in a force recon. I want to bring in a small. I want to bring in some marine raiders. And there you go. I've got three different types of units in a helicopter. Left click on the map and it'll bring them all in at once. Really, really nice. Uh, but what I'm actually going to do is invest into some HIMARS. These are not using ballistic missiles. I actually have these set up for their standard HE loadout. And it's pretty good at saturating a target, especially defensive positions like this. We can see that there is the enemy engineers in there. They are moving an HGM in there as well. So we're going to move up the high Mars and absolutely saturate that target. And the reason we're not using ballistic missiles is so they can't be intercepted. Uh, one thing I might want to do is unload this on the other side of the river. I wonder if I can do that. We'll, we'll give it a go. If I go low here, I might be able to sneak it up. The other thing I'm going to do in the meantime is move the M1A2. Actually, I'm not going to put it there because we know that there's eight of gems there. If I can get some units on this side of the river, that would be fantastic. There's a little gap here that I think we can use to land. It's super tight, but... There we go, boom. And now that can head home. And we can spread out on this side. And if I can get that force recon nice and close on the edge here, we can spot these units and get some nice kills in. But those Cornets already making a run for it. So while they're moving back, what I'm actually going to do here is move forwards my Marines. And we'll try and put some pressure on. We could probably capture this as well, but I don't really have any units that I want to move down there at the moment. So I will bring up some units to do that. Bring up some Marine Raiders. 
I might bring up a couple of these tow vehicles and maybe some extra supply up here. Then again, with that refund coming through, let's get some extra force recon and snipers. A nice ballistic missile support from my teammates. I'm going to keep the small with the marine raiders. The marine raiders, they only have the law as their AT weapon. So the small are uh, definitely useful to have. Now another thing that I did want to mention is I did get questions about how to use the line of sight tool. If you hold C and you don't move your mouse, then it will show you the line of sight from a particular position, either from the building, for example, from this like unit. If you move your mouse, it like resets it. So just make sure to keep your mouse still when you're doing it. Oh, a lovely ballistic missile strike again. There. Okay, we got a nice target here for the HIMARS. Let's see what we find with the Marine Raiders because we are getting pretty close there. There must be something in one of these sections. There we go. We found them. A close range, the Marine Raiders with their shotguns are actually pretty good against these engineers. Here go the HIMARS. I don't think I put them on extended strike, but hopefully we'll just hit the supply there. That will kill anything nearby. Perfect. Right, since that one is low, we'll bring them back out again. And we'll make sure to move these away. Actually, what I could do is just bring them over here to use this supply. Ooh, we just got hit with some flames there. If we can keep these guys alive. We did get pushed out. That's okay. Right, these three troops, they're going to be heading towards this. Currently, though, across the board, right side struggling. Well, though he has just managed to capture that back, so maybe not so much. The left side, looks like we're not really making as much ground as we would like at the moment, which is fine. We've still got 32 minutes left on the clock, so not a huge rush. One of the things I will say to newer players is you can be patient in this game. It's not a, not a big problem. There's no reason to push unnecessarily. Especially when you're not in the position to kind of back up your forces properly. You do want to make a concerted effort all at once in order to make significant pushes. Otherwise your units are just going to get picked off. I'm going to bring up a Shorad to back up my two Abrams against enemy helicopters. And you can see so far I've been very methodical. I haven't really wasted any units. We're getting a nice concentration. And we can utilize that concentration moving forwards in order to take these sectors. So I'm going to be looking to take this one, we'll look to take this one, then that will equal out the points across the board. Hopefully our teammates on the left can pick up one for themselves and then we'll be ahead. So that's the plan. Meanwhile, I will try and look for potential heli drop positions. Like getting a super stallion across here with some of the tow teams and stuff would be cool, but we have brought in all of my toes. My javelin squad forwards. I might start trying to shift some of this stuff up. I want marine raiders in there. I want the sniper team ahead. I think I will throw some infantry into the edge of this tree line. Uh, these can actually head back and fix themselves up. It's a T90M that we've got to deal with. I do have another SEP on the way, so that's not the end of the world there. I probably don't want to waste that small. It'd be good to ambush enemy forces with if I can get it out of there. Alas, we could not. 
I might be able to take out the engineers at least. Yeah, okay, we ran out of range. Well, my tow team will use up the active protection on the T90. So that's good. And we have managed to, looks like, secure this objective. Need a helicopter down? AT specialist at your disposal. Marine Raiders at your command. Your eyes and ears. I might be able to move across Good this copy. one. Well, that building is on fire. <laughs> Time to go, men. Oh, never mind. It collapsed on them. This is something you do have to watch out for. Units can die instantly if buildings collapse on them. After they've collapsed, though, and the building is in ruins, it's actually not so much of a problem anymore. Let's see if we can get a nice kill on this T-80. It's definitely drove too far up. I might be able to get a nice clean shot here from the Abrams. Got my toe. Jeep trying to kill itself. All right. Kind of tempted to try and shoot at some of these units like this book with the high Mars. Yeah, it might be a good idea. I do have a ballistic missile trying to fire at that, but it is a radar AA, so it should technically intercept it. We'll just go for the high Mars. Oh, never mind. It did not intercept it. Okay, so I cancelled my strike there. Because if the book was still in position, that would have likely got the kill. Alright, meanwhile, uh, we will want to try and get back into this point. Uh, see if I can get my force recon up as well. And I think what we're going to have to do is try and airdrop some reinforcements for closer up here so that we can continue to push in on this left side. So I'm going to bring in both of my tow jeeps. I find these tow jeeps really, really nice. You can keep them hidden in these forested areas and they're able to provide long range support. Bring a couple of force recons. I don't have enough seats for a marine raider. So maybe I just drop a couple um, thousand kilos of supply behind this tree line. Let's try for that. So as that comes in off the back of the map, this time I'm just going to give it an order immediately to go there. We did manage to cap this with my force recon. So what I'm thinking is... Well, first of all, let's get some supply in here that can top off all of these chaps. But I do need to get a chunky squad of infantry into one of these sections. Then again, if they're going to keep using napalm, then I might want to avoid staying in there. Can that land before it dies? No, it cannot. And we just lost a lot of stuff there. Why is there two man pads spots back there? It's quite far back. We have a man pads. I feel like I would have spotted them with the sniper that I have in here. But I guess not. That's unfortunate. A very big waste of points. Right, meanwhile, what I'm going to do is we're going to move the toes over to the left side here. We're going to line them up with these roads so we can get the maximum range out of them. I'm going to move my Shorad down here as well. Unfortunately, we're not really going to be able to stop that. I'm going to bring in an Amtrak that can get the Marine Raiders close. And then we'll have to do another heli drop. I can do Marine Raiders in the Osprey, but I can't afford anything else yet, so we're going to be patient. There's a lot of infantry in there. This is probably a good target, potentially, for the High Mars. Although I did notice that High Mars don't do too much damage against infantry in cover uh, but if we can destroy these buildings 
that would be good and we're close enough that the dispersion is going to be kind of small so this should actually be a pretty effective strike now think about it i will have a need to bring in lots more supply so let's do one marine raider and then a load of supply going to queue the order to move away afterwards. If we can collapse this building, then they'll just, just die inside it. There we go. Boom. Just like that. Perfect. Alright, let's see if I can move forwards my mech rifle AA unit into that, and we might be able to cap it. It's very strange to be holding like this much of the front in the center here. I'm not sure what's going on here. We kind of need this guy to attack. <laughs> we'll, we'll tell him to attack in that direction. If you can put pressure on that point, it will help us out a lot. At the moment, I'm single-handedly pushing the center of this map. Which is not ideal. At least this guy's kind of keeping the ire of a player on the side there. But it looks like, unfortunately, there is another unit of infantry in our way. I wonder if that actually cleaned them out. Looked like it might have. The trouble is, he used cluster munitions an infantry unit. So I am unsure of its effectiveness. Regardless, Marine Raiders should be able to get in here shortly. We have these Marine Raiders that are ready to run this direction so they can start heading over there. The Osprey can be sold. High Mars can move away from their supply and we should be in a pretty good spot. Let's uh, move these over here and we'll try and take out this here on the back side, the Santi. Just gonna keep it marked. And let my high Mars get it. A pretty close range here, so the dispersion again is decent enough. That ballistic missile might be going for it. Ballistic missiles look so cool on this map just because of the uh, <laughs> the fact it's night. Very cool. Let's get those marine raiders unloaded. any luck we'll catch it out and pop it not sure we did not that is not good <laughs> the sniper found those and well I think the sniper unloaded and then it uh, revealed the location of it and my force recon fired back. Get behind the building there. Let's try and stay hidden. A big bombing strike just nuked all of my stuff in those buildings. It's okay, we spread out relatively well, so it wasn't a big deal. My marine raiders are on their way. Over here, actually, what I'm going to do is put the supply, some supply just behind here, because these javelins and the cavalry scouts have, they use up ammunition super fast. I'm going to bring up some recon in the middle, just to make sure that nothing's crossing here. On the right hand side, actually looking pretty ripe for an attack, huh? Especially with the sniper scouts amazing those. We'll get a jump jet to lower altitude. And they 
can come in and get the attack off. Here we go. Hopefully low enough to get out. Looks like maybe. Oh, just. Okay, actually a good target for the high miles as well. So we're going to move over here with the high mass and uh, we'll just smash this entire area because it's probably going to move back to supply to fix those up. So if we can get into position to fire on that soon, that would be really good. And meanwhile, my marine raiders are getting actually pretty close being in that sector, so that's good. Are we in range from here? We are. Alright, let's do it. We're not going to waste any time because it's going to be trying to repair those. And the other thing I need to do meanwhile is, again, pay attention to this. We're going to swap these out. Hopefully I can get this one back up onto the ridge here. Going to get a big supply dump at the back here with the Super Stallion. With any luck, we get a nice strike right on target. Watch the dump go up. Well, I think the supply dump probably got used up. None of the rockets there really landing near the Tunguska, unfortunately. I think the next best thing is a Viper in this situation. Really trying to make good use of the helicopters this time around. Just got to kind of keep the Viper at max range. Night attack area coming in. Let's get that unloaded. We don't want to get too close because otherwise the tanks will shoot me down with their machine guns. New flight plan received. Standing by. New heading set. Viper ready for combat. Yeah, unfortunately these hellfires not really hitting the mark. They are very isolated at the moment. They'll have to start heading back. Raiders, always forward. Looks like my other marine didn't make it. At your command, we unleash hell, sir. Back to the farm. Okay, time to bring in some more marines. I'm just going to bring some in a truck. <laughs> nice cluster strike. Not sure if it was really on target though. Pedal to the metal. Uh, what I'm going to do, get my shore out over here. Roger. Try and cover this. Waypoint. I could bring the lab over here as well. Got a couple of tanks that we could probably shift to the right, I think. I don't know if I would need to keep them here. I think I might move them to the right. The issue that we have is that he has like four units there, whilst we have only two tanks so his armatas and t90s will outnumber us and then we'll just lose them so got to be a little bit careful in that scenario uh, meanwhile let's get the shore add on target please look at the aoe here the labs here as well so we'll be able to absolutely wreck these guys see the air burst munitions just 
annihilating them. <laughs> the Marines held really well. Let's move these back. Don't need to keep them in that position. Uh, now there's a T90 here. Okay, we'll move back up. Uh, where's my Viper? I'm going to give my Viper more ammunition. So we'll right click on my supply. It'll go automatically move over there and resupply. We need to cover off these buildings. So the way I'm going to do that is actually bring in some small squads. Probably need quite a few small squads if I want to catch out all these tanks. So I might just bring them all in, drop them back here, spread them out amongst these buildings so we can get the better of these tanks. Okay, I'm just going to move here and then we'll hit that afterwards. Oh, nice. Super Cobra will cover us off. Maybe I need to smoke there and get out. If I can get my toes into better positions to cover that. You can see this toe up on the ridge here. Boom. Nice. Got it. More marine raiders for that position, please. Let's get these unloaded. And unfortunately, it looks like we've lost position here again. I can't really throw units aggressively towards that because... Because of the T90 in here, my, my Abrams can't just charge it. Oh, nice, we hit the supply dump. Perfect strike. We'll move the marines over here. And that counter battery coming in hot. Ouch. Time to go. That tow team's dead. My Abrams should be fine though. I'll just tell them to go fix up. Uh, let's sell the assault spray, make sure we spread out the s'mores, because should have already done this already. So the, the way I'm doing that is I'm selecting all of them, I'm pressing tab to scroll through them on the bottom left here, and then I'm giving them individual controls, or individual uh, commands, uh, so that we can catch out units like this. That's the reason that I brought in the s'mores. I could actually, in theory, put these down and below. Like ambush in the construction site area because this is like lower line of sight so we can stay low in those positions and get kills that way unfortunately my marine raiders on the left have just died so we're getting into a position where like I'm not really being supported very well nice ballistic missile strike though um, we're just gonna have to try and take back these points Bring my Viper back over. That's a lot of cat dragons. I'm running into my force recon again. Oh no. Okay, we managed to just about get away. It's okay. Let's get my tanks back in position here. So, more marine raiders please. I will probably do another heli drop. Let's go Marine Raiders. Bring in more of these toes. 
bring in an actual tow team, mech rifle, AA, some force recon. That'll do. And we'll drop it just behind here and have them all move towards that direction. Meanwhile, I really do want to cut off a lot of this movement if I can. I'm going to get my force recon over here so that I can scout for the Abrams. Another cool thing to note is the infantry can use their smoke in buildings. Very, very useful to know that. Unfortunately, they're going to have to go back and repair again. My force recon didn't spot anything, so they're just gonna die. Without really being useful. Oh, that's unfortunate. Eight minutes left. At this point, I'm gonna be better off not making the actual play to take the flag until like the last second. So. See if I can get these into good positions to help cover. And we'll start moving towards these objectives, but we're not going to sit on those objectives until the end. Right, let's push forwards the small squads. to bring in a marine raider in an osprey with a couple of fork on and we're going to low ride them into the forest there so we can Swift, clean that out silent, deadly. Prepare for entry. it could be an idea to switch out some of these tow teams Interesting. We're going to have to replace that unit, unfortunately. Which I guess I could just put the fork on in there. Okay, we're going to go change altitude. And then we're going to try and land on that spot again. Unfortunately, not really going to be able to do much about that. Let's see if I can get my tanks up on this hill. We'll keep them spread out this time because it seems like they're just going to be the target of napalm 24/7. Target there and target here. And we have to be careful with these as well. We'll see how effective the high is at least. Oh, nice. I destroyed the building, so those guys had a bad time. Let's get the snipers moving forwards. If I can take out all the Igloos, then I can move up the Viper immediately. 
That's quite a lot of English, though. I really hope that guy doesn't kill my boss, Recon. killed the majority of them. Alright, nice. We're actually capping that back. That's good. Heavy armor is on the field. Getting closer to that objective as well. Four minutes left. We might be able to clutch this. It would be really, really good if we do. Uh, there is a bunch of Terminators coming up there. That's not very fun. I'm going to shift the Viper over here. We may have pulled the trigger just ever so slightly too soon. Just reset. Like you're dead. Let's get the toe to move over. severely damaged and I am going to cap that okay definitely decapped it Let's see if we can get the Sabrams up on the ridge here into a good line of sight meanwhile do I push these down the ridge there or do I push them down to the right I think we go right can move the Shorad in here to prevent them from capping this. I think. I probably should make sure that we can shoot this infantry. Okay, we were too close. It's unfortunate. Get the marine rangers in here. And I'm actually just going to push forwards first of all with the Amtrak. Meanwhile, it's time for the Abrams to zoom in here. And I got just out of the way in time. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I've gotta move around this. What a game. I mean, it's been really, really close. Unless I can somehow clutch this, I don't think we can do it. My uh, Abrams here just not really able to hold. Can we maybe take out these as well? That would be pretty crazy. Oh, it's so close. Kill them. Okay, smoke. Ah, there's something else in there. That's unfortunate. Right, even if we decap this, I think we still win. Actually, we're ahead 5-4. to four. 
Never mind. So neutralizing this will only secure our victory. There we go. Boom. Just like that, we managed to hold the center here. And uh, good job on the left, finally pushed forwards and, and managed to secure that. Good job here as well. But uh, I would say that was a solid game in the center there. Not quite really using the <laughs> heli drop strategy the way that I would have liked, but we did what we needed to in order to get the victory. So, yeah, fantastic job on my team there. Really nice ballistic missile support actually throughout. And, yeah, it was fun to mess around with the helicopters. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.